All right, so as a quick rundown and recap, we're using an inch and a half equals a foot for our scale. You should have already drawn your one inch by one inch border. And remember, anything that I do in green is going to be what we consider a construction line. So if you're drawing it in pencil, it should be a lightly drawn line. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw in blue to be our object or our permanent lines. So the first thing is our wall that we're creating is going to be a nine foot tall wall and 16 feet long wall. So if we do some math here for some conversions, all right, and I write my scale factor as one half inch over one foot, all right, I'm gonna look at that as, I wanna convert that to 16 feet. How do I do that? I'll just cross multiply. So that would leave me with 1x equals 1 half times 16, or x equals 8 inches. I could do the same thing for 9. So 1 half over 1 equals x over 9. I cross multiply. I'm left with 1x equals 1 half times 9, or x equals 4 and a half inches. And so those give me my numbers for the actual size of my wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that out. So to do that, throw my ruler down. I'm gonna measure over to my eight inch mark. All right, I'm gonna do that in a couple spots just so that I can make sure that I have a straight line coming up. And remember, Green is going to be my construction lines. So I'm then going to take that line up. It doesn't quite matter how far up I draw it yet because if you're doing this in pencil, you would just erase. Next, I want to measure up four and a half inches. I'm going to rotate my paper and then I'm going to come up four and a half inches, and that would represent my nine inch mark. And I'm gonna come part way down my paper, measure four and a half inches, and ultimately I'm gonna come down to that other line that I just drew, and also measure four and a half inches. Okay. And again, lightly draw that out. And there I created my 16 feet by nine foot wall. Okay. Now that I've created that, I'm actually gonna start drawing in what would be my studs. Ultimately, I want my wall to finish to look like this. Okay. With my 16 inches on center, when I do the math, a half an inch, equals a foot, so 12 inches, an eighth of an inch equals three inches, that's 15, and a sixteenth of an inch equals about an inch and a half. So 11 sixteenths of an inch is gonna give me 16 inches, okay? So to kind of give yourself an easier way of doing this, what I would suggest doing is give yourself a template. So what I would do is with your ruler, where you have two corners to give you 90 degrees. I would measure out 11 sixteenths. So I'll actually slide the ruler down to the sixteenths of an inch so that you can see. And we'll zoom in here. Okay. So if we count this out, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, I'm gonna shift this down. We're gonna do that again. Count it over to 10 and 11, which is right here. We're gonna do that a third time. 10 and 11. And so what I've done is I've created a template now so that when I go to lay out my 16 inches on center, 
I don't have to worry about remeasuring with a ruler each time. Okay, so. To lay out my 16 inches on center, I'm gonna take that template, line it up on my two sides, but you wanna try and make sure that it is as square as possible. So across my bottom, across my side. All right. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and mark our centers. And then when I shift my template, I'm gonna take the last mark I made and line it up with the first one. Like so. And mark the other two. Shift it down. Last with the first. Shift it down. Last with the first. Shift it down. And what you will notice is that the last spacing is gonna be a little bit small. And that's okay. Because when you lay out a wall, sometimes the spacing in the studs, when it gets to the end of a wall, isn't gonna be perfect. And that's just how the wall layouts go. So what it did to the bottom, I'm now gonna to do to the top. And this way I can guarantee that my spacing is gonna be almost the same. You gotta account for some human error. Okay, so now that I've marked my 16 inches on center, okay, the last thing I need to do is I need to start drawing in my actual thicknesses for my studs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my top and my bottom plate, then I'm gonna start with my studs coming across. So I'm going to rotate my paper, and my stud thickness is going to be approximately 16th of an inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our best to draw that in. So the first thing I want to do is make my bottom plate, bottom line, an actual permanent line. So I'm going to turn that green into blue. For you, if you're using a pencil or a pen, you want to darken that up. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna mark off a 16th of an inch and a 16th of an inch. And we are gonna connect those two dots. Okay. And do the same thing up here. Draw in our top plate, top line. Okay. And from there, mark our 16th. Come down, mark our 16th. start marking our studs it's going to be the same process except that we have our 16 inches on center okay. and so our 16 inch or our, I'm sorry our marks that represent our stud are going to go on either side and that's the 16 inch mark okay. I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top go on either side of it and then draw that in. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this. For each one. So I don't have to keep on rotating my ruler. Um, and you 
to be as close as possible. You know, you're dealing with the sixteenth of an inch. There's going to be some variation in it. And, you know, obviously we have to have an acceptable amount of error when dealing with this. So, and especially because this is our first drawing. Remember, you don't want to draw through the top plate or the bottom plate because um, your studs are going to be sandwiched in between your top and bottom plate. Okay, and then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and fill in all of our lines. Please make sure that all your lines connect from the top plate to the bottom plate. And then don't forget that your last one also has to have a stud because we always start our wall and end our wall with a stud. So that is how you make a stud wall with studs 16 inches on center.